if you're new to fasting or maybe you've tried it before but you're struggling to see results, honestly, I'm not surprised. There is so much mixed information trying to sell you something. Fasting Tube is independent and focusing on real information. Let's get started with today's video. The question, why do I feel like my mind is sharper and more clear after fasting? It is possible that you have a genuine food intolerance or allergy and avoiding all foods means that you're also avoiding your trigger foods. For example, if you normally eat slash drink milk products and you're lactose intolerant, which means that your body cannot break down lactose, you'll obviously feel better by avoiding them or by using lactose-free variants instead. Or if you have properly diagnosed celiac disease, eating gluten actually causes health problems. And then sugar, sweeteners and caffeine are notorious for making people feel lethargic when their effects wear off. Finally, intermittent fasting might have health benefits, but, as far as I am aware, currently there is no strong scientific evidence to back this up, probably due to lack of research. Having said this, if you're planning to try this out, it's best to talk with a physician and nutritionist first. To ensure that you get all energy and nutrients you need, you'll need to do it in a controlled manner and not haphazardly due to a busy schedule. My advice is to try to get used to a routine and set an alarm clock at meal times so you do not forget to feed yourself. Your body needs quite a bit of energy, nutrients and water to function optimally. Get enough sleep so that you do not need caffeine to get you through the day. Drink water and tea instead. Eat clean food without added sugar and with limited sodium. Cook fresh whenever you can and eat plenty of vegetables and fruits. If you do not have much time during the week, which is entirely understandable, you can try to prepare your meals a few days in advance, for example on Sunday, and refrigerate for the first two to three days, or freeze them for the rest of the week. You can do this for any type of meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, just be sure to use ingredients that can be frozen. Do not eat high sugar slash fat snacks to make up for skipped meals. They do not have many nutrients and surely they can make you feel lethargic. Figure out if you are intolerant to certain foods and if so, avoid them. Again, it's best to ask a physician. Seriously set that alarm clock. Even if you're on a hyper-focused streak you need a break every now and then, especially if your work involves long days of sitting behind a desk. If, pretty much like any regimen, requires scheduled feedings with balanced meals to prevent nutrient deficiencies and fatigue. For more answers, or a full guideline on fasting, check out the links in the description below.